Hi, my name is Nicole. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making mini minties, which are miniature cheesecakes with Philadelphia cream cheese, mint, and Grand Marnier in the filling, and an Oreo cookie crust. So what I have started over here is a mini muffin tin, and I have Oreos that have been mixed with some melted butter, and I'm taking about a tablespoon of filling and putting it into the bottom of these muffin tins. And then, these are going to go in the oven at 350 degrees just for eight minutes to get them started. So I'm gonna set my timer because I always forget. And you may be wondering why my Philadelphia cream cheese is on my stove. If you're like me, you never seem to pull your cream cheese or your butter out early enough for it to come up to room temperature. And if you do that, the best way to get it up to room temp is when you start to preheat the oven and you say, oh, I totally forgot about my cream cheese or my butter. You can take it out, put it on the oven while it's preheating, and by the time you're done, you'll have a nice room temperature cream cheese or butter to use in your mixer. So. To make the filling, what we're going to start with is an 8 ounce package of Philadelphia cream cheese and then this whole recipe started because I am in love with mint chocolate chip ice cream. It's actually probably the reason my husband and I got married. When we had first met, my grandfather passed away and I needed a break so I went to my then boyfriend's house and we watched a movie and he had bought me mint chocolate chip ice cream because he remembered that it was my favorite. So from my favorite ice cream comes my favorite mini cheesecake dessert and my husband. So to this eight ounce package of Philadelphia cream cheese, we're adding two thirds of a cup of sugar and then you're just going to cream that. While that's creaming, we're going to use real mint in this. So you're going to take a good handful of mint. It's going to come out to about a quarter cup once you've got it chopped and I'm just going to slice it into thin chiffons and I'm going to keep an eye on my cream cheese and sugar. It looks like it's just about done. I'm going to scrape down the sides and then what I'm going to add in is two eggs one at a time. Now, I'm sure that there's some really great scientific reason why you add eggs in one at a time to cheesecakes and um, cake recipes, but I don't know what it is. The reason I add eggs in one at a time is because that's what my mom does. And to be honest, sometimes I think doing what your mother and your grandmother did while baking is just as good as doing it for a scientific reason. So I'm gonna add my first egg and get that blended in there and then I'm going to add my second one and once these are well blended we're going to add in two tablespoons of Grand Marnier. If you are a teetotaler or you just don't like to use alcohol in your baking you can use one tablespoon of orange extract and one tablespoon of vanilla extract and it'll have the same effect. So I'm going to scrape down my sides again to make sure I got all the cream cheese and sugar melted in with those eggs. And then I'm going to add in my two tablespoons of Grand Marnier, any other orange flavored liqueur also okay, and my quarter cup of freshly chopped mint. And it doesn't seem like a lot of mint for something called mini minties, but a little bit of mint goes a very long way. So we're going to get those two flavorful ingredients well blended in. And once the crusts are done with their eight minutes in the oven, we're going to take them out. And while they're still hot, we're going to pour the mixture in. Our minty mini crusts are done, which we get them out of the oven. We're going to fill these with a tablespoon each of batter. You just want to fill them up to the top. This batter makes enough for 24 mini minties. 
However, I only have one mini muffin tin, so right now I'm doing them in batches. So what I'm going to do is get these all filled up, and then I'm going to put this pan in the oven. They're going to bake for 20 minutes or until they're spongy up on top, which it'll depend on the heat of your oven, but 20 minutes just about does it, and they're going to be nice and springy just like a full-size cheesecake would be. So I'm going to get the rest of these poured in, get them in the oven, and let them cool. After baking for 20 minutes, they have a nice springy top. I let the mini minties cool down for 10 minutes, and then I took them out of the mini muffin tins. A great utensil for taking them out is a plastic knife. And you usually have one still hanging around your house, either from a barbecue where you used up all the forks and none of the knives, or from takeout that you got where there's always a knife and a fork in the little plastic container and you usually only use the fork. So grab one of your many extra plastic knives and use that when you're taking these mini cheesecakes out because that will help preserve the nonstick surface of your muffin pan and it doesn't stick to the knife like the cheesecake sometimes can stick to a metal knife. So I've taken four out. I'm going to show you two different ways to garnish them. What I have here is some whipped topping that I've actually brought up to room temperature so that it's a little melty. And what we're going to do is take that and pour it over the top just to make a little circle. So it's a little um, melty and liquidy and it makes a nice little covering for the top. So it's not really a dollop of whipped topping. It's more like, um, almost looks like a frosting put right on top of each of these. And if I was going to be making these for a dinner party as my finishing little mini dessert, I would do them with sprigs of mint. So I would just put a little bit of mint right on top of each one for a sort of more sophisticated look. And you can also serve these at kids' parties, and they look like little cupcakes if you just put some crumbled Oreo right over the top. So they'll look like little cupcakes. And again, that's good for a kids' party, and it's also good for big kids like me. That's how I like them. <laughs> so these are a couple different ways to plate them up, a little sophisticated and a little fun. I hope you enjoy.